Back a few years ago, I was listening to a rant cafe. This was back when it was on still on Nux's channel, and they were discussing what anime world would be the best to live in. And during that rant cafe, the idea got brought up that some of our favorite anime series take place in the worst possible worlds to live in. And this idea really did stand out to me, so what did I do? I sat on it, but now I guess I'll go more in depth about it. First off, let me say that this does not extend to slice of life comedy, and other feel-good genres. That's another topic for another video. Also, when I say dark, I don't necessarily mean edgy. I use those two words together quite a bit, but they're two separate things, and therefore is another topic for another video. My first reason is that suffering is necessary for happiness. It's the simple idea that the more you suffer, the more happy you will be later, and there simply just can't be happiness without suffering. I mean, if everything was happiness, what is happiness? In Shingeki no Kyojin, one scene in the first arc that people really seem to like was when Eren sealed up all Rose, but what's so special about that? All he did was move a fucking boulder, but it's because of the suffering Eldia faced. They had lost a large amount of land and thousands of lives, and after almost losing even more land, they'd managed to have their first victory. Not every battle was going to be a losing one after this. They could start winning again. They can regain the land as well as avenge their fallen allies. With the occasional delay here and there, this victory set the path for future victories. However, had the soldiers not sacrificed themselves to protect Eren, this would have never happened. Let's give a better and more recent example in Shingeki no Kyojin. In the second part of Season 3, another important battle took place. This time, the casualty rate was much, much higher. They also lost their badass commander, but because of their suffering they endured, they were able to reclaim the land that they had lost. They even went further, and Eren was able to fulfill his childhood dream of seeing the ocean. Now, seeing the ocean might not be a big deal to any of you guys, but after all the suffering they endured, it kind of was. Another way to show that suffering is necessary for happiness is to just explain the rule of contrast. Now, let's say you have a blank white piece of paper. How would you draw light? Well, in order for there to be light in the drawing, there must first be darkness. Contrast lets us see things. In anime, if the world is dark, you can see and appreciate the glimmer of hope in it. Now, my second reason would be empathy. When we see a character that we can connect with, we tend to empathize with them. To a small extent, we feel their pain. We understand and share their feelings. That's essentially what empathy is. Some of the suffering they feel we appreciate, not in the good way, appreciate as in recognize the worth of. And once we can appreciate the suffering we feel, we can appreciate the happiness they feel as well. Keep in mind that this has to be a character that we can connect with. If it's some useless fodder character, then who really gives a shit? And that's all I really have to say about empathy. It's really that simple. For either of these two reasons, be it suffering is necessary for happiness or just basic empathy, try to insert a dark anime that you connected with and see how well it fits. Make sure to talk about it down in the comments. Anyways guys, this is OtakuKing69. Peace, peace.